How cool is this? Today I am in Wells Grey Provincial Park. I was actually working kind of like an hour down the road, um, so I had a day off and thought I'd come and check it out. And to be honest with you, it is surpassing my expectations. Wells Grey is a provincial park situated between Jasper and Kamloops, near a small town called Clearwater. The park boasts an abundance of waterfalls set along Clearwater Valley Road, many of which can be enjoyed from easily accessible viewing platforms, just a short walk from a car park. However, there is one waterfall that's just a little bit further from the road, and in my eyes, was the highlight of the day. It's well worth the three kilometre walk through the woods down to Mal Falls. I've just come a little bit further away from Mal Falls behind me, just in the hope that you can hear me just a little bit better. But Wellgrays Provincial Park is home to, I believe, over 40 waterfalls. Um, so there's a lot to see here and a lot of different stops. This morning when I woke up, it was raining a lot. It was pretty cloudy. Um, I wasn't super inspired to get out. But to be honest, those kind of conditions are perfect to come and shoot waterfalls. When all the foliage and the forest is wet, um, it just adds an extra layer of atmosphere to your images. So I'm going to go through and shoot a few waterfalls today. Um, and as I mentioned before, this first stop is Mal Falls. And this place is really cool. This waterfall reminds me of stuff that I've seen from Iceland. Um, you can walk all the way around the back. There's this really cool cave. Um, and you've got this kind of, all this cool wet grass and wet moss all around the waterfall. Um, it's a pretty cool location and one I've never heard of to be fair. Did a quick little bit of Googling today, found Mal Falls. It's about three kilometers walking from the car park, but like, it's really worth it. For my first images of the day, I wanted to capture all the elements of Mal Falls. In person, this place is simply incredible. The falls plunge from 35 meters overhead and the vibrant grass and moss contrast perfectly with the volcanic rock. I tried multiple compositions using myself in frame to give the falls and surrounds a sense of scale, whilst making sure to include the caves, falls and greenery all in one composition. I feel the damp, overcast day adds to the atmosphere. So you can actually walk like all the way underneath this waterfall, like check it out. <laughs> Get pretty wet what you're doing there. I grabbed a couple of shots just kind of using the uh, stream as a leading line with a nice kind of distinctive rock in the foreground. Um, I actually took it on the camera that I'm filming on so I didn't kind of film doing it but I'll kind of give you an idea of the composition. Um, one thing I'd say with running water and waterfalls, the temptation is always there to do a really, really long exposure, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds and get really silky smooth water. Um, a lot of the time though, you might find but actually doing a shorter exposure, like half a second, kind of comes out looking a bit better. Um, you still get that water movement, but you get a bit more definition in the water rather than just silky, silky smooth. Um, so I took two exposures and I'll pop those both on screen and then you can decide which one you prefer. I also took a third image as I felt something was missing. 
I move some fallen leaves out of the water and onto the black rocks. The yellow contrasts really well, and in my opinion, makes for a better, more eye-catching foreground. Originally, the plan for this video was for it to be a bit more of a Wells Grey in general, to kind of see multiple places in the provincial park. But in all honesty, I kind of got a bit excited and a bit carried away at Mole Falls, one of the first waterfalls I stopped at. Um, and I spent way too long there, but I think it is one of the best ones. But this is much cooler than I expected, to be honest with you. And every little stop I go to and every waterfall I see is pretty impressive. So if you are in the area, I really do recommend spending some time driving the road, doing some stop-offs and maybe going all the way to Clearwater Lake at the end. Definitely worthwhile. And um, I'm super stoked I got to come and see it. But hopefully next week, if the fires have died down, uh, the next video will be coming from the best sunrise spot in Jasper. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe um, and I appreciate you guys watching.